warmly welcome everyone to the quick tips in Microsoft Business Application series. First episode exposing custom fields on data entities. There are some scenarios where you would require to add in your custom fields to track additional details in Dynamics 365 for finance and operations. This feature create new field was enabled from the platform update 13 and it was a great feature addition to the system and it enables to add custom fields directly using the use interface. Let's look at how we can create a new field. Right click on the header, click add columns and then you can click on create new field. Select your table name, provide a prefix, select the type, provide the label name and then provide your help text and press save to create the new field. In this instance, I have created my custom field called legacy code. So I'm not going to recreate again. So I'm going to press cancel. So once you create your field properly, you would see the legacy code field is appearing here and then you can click insert to add into the grid. So I'm going to cancel it since I have already added and I have also customized uh, or personalized my field to appear after invoice account. With the introduction of the version 10.09, so there is a new feature which can expose this custom field into the data entity. And also you can do the office integration overview uh, feature and import uh, and export uh, scenarios as well and you can also display it in the power apps so let's look at exposing this custom field and display it in the power up scenario and let's look at the new form which enables us to enable it in the data entity so if you go to the system administration setup custom fields you would see there is a new form and in the new form, you're going to select that uh, table which we added the new field and press on select. And then you see that new field is appearing here and you can uh, click edit and you can select the entity that you want to add it to. And then once you are satisfied with the entity selection, you can click on apply changes. Once you have done that step, adding the custom field into the data entity, and then you can actually create a power app and then you could uh, filter based on this legacy PO custom code value. So let's look into the legacy POs. So you could actually filter based on your legacy code value and find out the details. So in this case, I have the purchase order, legacy code and approval status. So once I've changed the 86, the digit it will filter for the 86 so if i have 87 then it will be filtering for the 87 so likewise if you have the legacy POs, then you could look at the details that you want if you want to apply to a different situation scenario you could do that so in this case we demonstrated uh, just adding a legacy code into the po and then exposing it to the power ups and utilizing the filter function from power apps itself so stay tuned for more episodes coming up so thank you for watching this episode